Because of having threshold variability in glaucoma patient, if we see any changes in the theory of follow-up, we need to repeat the test. That's the first step. This slide shows uh, the changes in a visual field that disappeared completely with repeating the test. For detecting the progression, we uh, may use event-based analysis and trend-based analysis. In the event-based analysis, the latest visual field will be compared to the baseline. And in the trend-based analysis, a linear regression will be used to assess the rate of changes over time. And uh, VFI and mean deviation are used for this analysis. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the overview printout and also glaucoma change probability analysis. In the overview printout, we have gray scale, numeric map, total deviation, and pattern deviation. We can compare all of these maps with each other. And one of the things that may be useful is checking, checking the numeric map and the dB values over time. This is an example of a overview printout as you can see here in the numeric map there has been significant changes uh, in the follow-up in the two central points the glaucoma change probability analysis consists of three sections at the top part we have the baseline visual field and in the middle row we have vfi graph and at the bottom part we have event-based analysis. So VFI is the trend-based analysis and the bottom part we have event-based analysis. To be able to have this printout we need to have at least five visual fit. If it's less than five the machine will not be able to give us that printout. This present the VFI each black box around the line represent one of those visual fit that the patient had. The first one was taken at age 65 and the latest one has been at age 70. And if we continue the line, it will extrapolate the things that may happen over five years if the current management is going to be uh, continued. If, if we don't make any changes in the management, it will happen to the patient. These are three different VFI graphs. The first one is mild mark progression, the second one is moderate progression, and the third one is severe progression. This is a patient developing cataract over time as you can see here the total deviation is getting darker and darker and after removing the cataract the total deviation has improved and it's almost similar to pattern deviation plot so here we had significant changes in the mean deviation and total deviation but no change happened in the VFI but VFI has been criticized as being relatively insensitive to detecting visual field progression because VFI gives central test points more weight than the peripheral ones and as we know glaucoma is a peripheral visual field disease. In the event-based analysis section we have gray scale, we have pattern deviation plot, we have deviation from baseline that are displayed in numbers and we have progression analysis that we can see different triangles here. And we also have GPA alert which could be possible progression or likely progression. If we have a change in one visual field in the follow-up compared to the baseline that change will be displayed in a white triangle. If that change happens in two visual field tests, it will be displayed as half black triangle. And if it's repeated on the third visual field test, it will be displayed as a black triangle. And if we have 
three half block triangle in one exam the gpa alert will be possible progression and if we have three completely dark black triangle in one exam the gpa alert will be likely progression